Hey guys, it's me Jenna and thanks so much for coming back to watch another video. Today I want to do a love potion slash love spell with you. It's something that's really easy to do but it's really really important when you're doing any kind of love potions or love magic rituals, anything of that nature. It's really really important not to have any one particular person in mind. You can be open to certain things and traits you might desire in another but you want to just be able to open your heart and just let the universe work its own magic to give you what you desire and usually it'll come out better than what you thought you wanted. So when you're doing magic just make sure you're working in a positive state, you're working in a state of no fear, no anger, no jealousy and you're just really really at peace with everything around you and in a really happy mood because that's how you really flourish with your manifestation process. If you get too caught up with the rules of magic and you know certain uh, criteria of a spell you can really really diminish what you're gonna create so you want to really be able to have an open heart an open mind be in a really really happy mood and know that your magic is gonna work and already be grateful that it's happening because it is but you are putting so much more manifestation power to your magic and spells and manifestations when you're actually creating spells and doing rituals because you're putting all that energy into it and it's just going to flourish that much more. So without further ado, I'd like to start with this love potion spell. Okay guys, so for this video you will need one thing of white sage in an abalone shell or tray to hold your white sage because we are going to smudge our space before the ritual begins. Um, then you will also need one red candle, a votive or pillar or um, candlestick will do, but one red candle or pink if you have it. And this is simply to invoke the goddess of Venus and love, energy, romance, root chakra. We're going to open that up. And today I'm actually using my romance votive candle in here. So I'm just going to set that there. You're also going to need a few pieces of rose quartz. I went ahead and had a little uh, chunk of rose quartz that I just kind of broke up outside with a hammer and you just need a few pieces, nothing too big, just enough. It will still bring the energy and that's all you really need. So I'm going to set this over here. You will also need some kind of cauldron or plate to burn your incense of choice or you can even use an incense sled and just burn an incense stick or cone but I when I'm doing magic work and spells rituals anything like that I really like to use my charcoal and cauldrons so I have this really adorable cute little cauldron that I got at a um, uh, not a swap meet a um, flea market and it's really cute but you're also going to need charcoal and I always break my charcoal in half because the whole thing is quite a bit and it's really good for when you're outdoors but inside I just use like a half. So you're going to need your charcoal and I'm just going to rest it right there and I'm going to put my little cauldron right there. You're also going to obviously need some of your incense resin or powdered herb incense. Maybe you made something a little bit ago and you made it specifically for rituals but today I'm going to use uh, if you can see some red sandalwood powder, I do carry this in my shop. And uh, with the red sandalwood powder, it's really, really good for magic work, manifestation, cleansing the space, really raising the vibration. It's a beautiful scent too. When it's burning, it does smell a little bit like a tobacco scent. If you've ever walked into a really old cigar shop, that's kind of the scent it brings, but it also banishes negativity. And so we're gonna work on banishing any negative energy today and bringing forth the energy of love and abundance and great ritual magic. So I'm just going to set my little cork right there and so far everything's looking real cute I think. Um, next you're going to need like one to two pieces of clear quartz or rose quartz, whatever you like. I didn't have some rose quartz um, pieces that were this nice so I just used my clear quartz because clear quartz I'm invoking the energy of love so with that said this is what I'm going to be using to replace with the rose quartz just to and these are really just to kind of bring love energy so if you have a rose quartz sphere which I also sell on my website 
you guys can use that and just it's just to kind of have it around so you're really really working with that heart chakra root chakra energy and embracing love and light and everything that goes with it so um, next you're also going to need, which I don't want to forget, you will need some matches because I already pre-lit my candle here so I may not need them but you will need matches to start it all. And you're also going to need some kind of love oil or if you have like a rose oil, rose essential oil, jasmine oil, tube rose oil, um, I'm going to use my true love oil because it is the scent of roses and it is divine. Everyone that wears this as a perfume and a body oil or uses it as an aroma oil raves about it and their husbands as well too. They're always saying whatever you're doing, don't stop because that is the one that all guys just for some reason they have they feel so compelled to tell me that they love it when their wife wears or girlfriend wears the true love oil so I'm gonna use that because that's like to me it's become a really powerful oil and the smell of roses is just so beautiful and innocent and just so pure of magical love and light so I'm gonna use that and coming up on some of the last things we're gonna need today for our love potion spell is uh, some red roses and jasmine. I have these on my site, but I've already opened them up. And I'm going to use a little dish right here to hold my red rose petals. You can also use pink petals, or you can also use actual roses and uh, that have come fresh from the garden. So if you wanna use, pluck some fresh rose petals, that's totally fine. It's probably better, but again, it's all about energy. And to me, this is what I have here. Um, I live in the mountains. It's still quite cold outside and things haven't fully blossomed yet. So I'm gonna use the dried ro red rosebuds. And I'm also going to use some jasmine because jasmine also, it's a natural aphrodisiac and for centuries it has been used in all kinds of love spells. So I went ahead and added some jasmine there. So the la one of the last things that you're going to need is your bottle to put your love potion in. I picked up this bottle, I think at a craft store, I don't, or a thrift store, I don't really remember, but it's really cute. I had to put the cork on, um, but I just actually filled it with some extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. You guys can use uh, sesame seed oil, sweet um, almond oil, jojoba oil, any kind of carrier oil is good because this way you can use it on your skin. So that's the goal is that you want to be able to wear it but you can also use it to anoint your candles. So if you'd like to dress your candles with some of the oils and so basically I already pre-filled it so that I didn't have to do it on camera and spill it anywhere but you don't want to fill it all the way I don't when I tilt it you can't see but I only fill it up to here because I need room for all my other ingredients to go in still um, and if you need to at the end you could always top it off more so here we're gonna set our little bottle and we need something like a label and because this uh, bottle has such an odd shape to it I can't really put a proper label on here I'm going to use a red ribbon so that later on I will know exactly what is in this bottle and I'm literally just gonna tie it on the bottle when I'm done and that will be my sign that that is my love potion oil so you know you're gonna need to have something it can be a red ribbon a red string a pink string a pink ribbon um, maybe you have some beautiful beads you can decorate it with or some kind of tassel or a strip of fabric and you, uh, like satin or silk and you can tear a strip and tie it around the bottle. That would also work. Um, the, let's see, the last thing you may or may not need is just a pair of good old scissors because this is where we can make the potion really personal and I'll explain that when we get to it. So let's begin. So now that we have everything set up and beautifully decorated, naturally you saw how it all came together and it's just stunning really. But what we're gonna start with is grounding our energy and really focusing in on what it is we're trying to achieve with our love potion. So if we're gonna start with this ritual, we really want to sit in a really comfortable position and start with a slow meditation so that you can get into it. And you will notice too, if you're talking at all, um, your voice will deepen and when it does, mine always does, and it means I'm tuned in. I'm kind of fully relaxed. Everything in my body is fully relaxed and it means I'm ready to start working. So if you just wanna take a second, 
we are going to just center our energy on what it is we need to do and we are provoking love and love energy and I'm using my hands to just kind of start with the small little pulses of energy that are going to be around my little workspace here and I'm just sending it from my heart chakra and out my hands into my workspace because this is what I want. I want love energy in my life. I do, I'm not particularly looking for someone to come into my life like some of you may be. I am just looking for love. Love always in my life. Love conquers all. So whether it comes from family or friends, I always work in the highest love and light. I just attract the energy of love all around me. Now, if you're looking for someone specific with certain traits and not, not a specific name of a person, but a specific traits, you can start envisioning or focusing on that right now. And so as you're doing that, we can start with our white sage and we can use our candle here to just start lighting the tip at an angle and you'll see it kind of going up in flames. And w since I'm working inside, I don't need it to be too smoky, but I'm going to start and I'm just going to go in a clockwise motion around my area and I'm just blessing it. And funny enough, I just got a whiff of roses, <laughs> even though the sage is so potent. And so I'm just going to bless my little sacred space, bringing it up to the vibration of love, bringing it to the heart chakra energy and really just thinking of the happiest, most loving moments of my life that just brought so much radiance to my aura and my energy and left me smiling and laughing for days after. That is the energy of love. I'm gonna give myself a little cleanse too with the sage. And if you are outside, it's always a good idea to smudge the bottom of your feet and plant your feet into the ground if you're standing up so that you can really reconnect with the earth's energy. <sighs> and then I just like to breathe out anything that's negative and you really do start to just feel pure again and clean. So now I'm going to light my candle, which I'm going to use the matches for. And so as we light this candle, you want to, again, envision the energy of love and you're going to focus all that energy into the candle as you light it. And I actually have a little prayer for as we light the candle. We're working with the energy of Venus today as well, the goddess of love. And so I'm going to light this and I'm going to bring it to my candle and I'm going to say, Bright Venus, bless this circle well. Honor and empower my spell. So now we're just gonna feel the energy for a second. And now we're gonna take our charcoal and go ahead and start lighting that. Cause now we're gonna, this is gonna be our incense that we're gonna be creating for our consecration of items in our spell. So I'm gonna give it a really good light so that it lights faster for you guys. And so as it's working its magic there, I'm actually gonna put one of my pieces of rose quartz over the top of that because I want it to bring up that energy of love. It's not fully lit yet, so I'm gonna give it a second. But once I do, I'm gonna add some of my, my choice of incense for today, which was the red sandalwood powder. But you guys can definitely use whatever you feel is fit for this. This is, again, just to raise the vibration and bring it into a state of love and light and happiness. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sprinkling on my incense. And it, ooh, it smells amazing already. Oh yeah. <laughs> so next I'm going to dress or not dress, but uh, put like one or two drops of the true love oil because that is what's so powerful. And now we smell roses. It smells like tobacco, which is really good for 
bringing in that divination and working with her magic. So the next thing I want to do is actually start with my two crystals to help raise the vibration. I'm going to put them in the energy of love and let the smoke cleanse them and then recharge them with this loving energy. So I'm literally giving them a smudge or smoke bath. And I'm gonna, since I have two, I'm gonna do the other one as well. It's so beautiful and peaceful. So beautiful. They feel like they're vibrating so much happier now. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start working on our potion and putting everything together. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit more because we wanna always keep our incense flowing. You wanna keep that energy moving and no stagnant energy. So we're gonna keep it moving, moving, moving. So now we're gonna take our oil bottle, our potion bottle, and bless this first before we start adding our ingredients. And as we bless it, I have a little prayer for us to say. So as you run it through the smoke, you're cleansing it of negative energy, and you're gonna raise its vibration. And here's your little prayer. This oil, blessed in purity, is blessed by the goddess, blessed by me, and charged to draw true love to me. Now we can uncork our potion and start adding our ingredients to it. Remember you want to keep your incense burning so you can add another drop of oil to it and you just want to keep it going steadily. So now that our oil bottle is blessed we're going to run our rose quartz crystal through the smoke blessing it with love and light light from the flame, air from the smoke, fire and air together as one. And I'm gonna add one more little piece. I'm gonna run it through the smoke again. I'm just envisioning love and light and I'm just really bringing that energy of love. I'm so at peace with myself and all my surroundings. And we're gonna add it to the potion. So now we can go ahead and start blessing our herbs as well. So I like to take some of the jasmine flowers first. Jasmine again is this aphrodisiac. It promotes sensuality, passion, power, femininity just so much beautiful soft energy that's flowing and I'm, I'm not dropping it on my charcoal because I'm actually blessing it with the energy and then I'm going to drop one by one into here and you can break them up or you can leave them whole I like leaving them whole as much as possible because they do look quite beautiful that way I'm going to put one more little handful if you can see I'm just putting a few in there and so Again, just blessing it in the smoke that's left and dropping them one by one by one. So now we have this beautiful, if you guys can see, there's already little petals in there. Starting to look quite beautiful, like a potion. So next we're gonna do the rosebuds. So again, working with the energy of love, the rosebuds are quite bigger, some of them, so I'm going to break these up just a little bit, but I'm going to smudge and cleanse in the energy of love two rosebuds to bring out passion, root chakra energy, healing, helping to open up our heart and bring universal love and unconditional love to our life. And no matter what we think we want it will find us if we doubt we are wrong because the universe always has a way of working things out so now that I have these two little guys blessed or girls I should say because we're working with the energy of feminine feminine light and you're gonna have to break these up depending on your bottle I'm just gonna break up some of this and put it 
put it in here. I'm going to use all of these because I really want that color in there. I want that red color. All right. So we're almost done here and basically now we're just going to add our oil and with our oil, no matter what oil you use, whether it's a plain jasmine or rose essential oil or this true love oil or any kind of maybe love oil you've blended yourself, as you drop it, you're going to put three drops. That's it three drops because we're going to work with the power of body, mind, and spirit and you're attracting the love in all three forms. So we're going to drop one, two, three. And with each drop we've opened that doorway to our mind for love, our body for love, and our spirit or soul for love. So it's all three like the Holy Trinity. And so now I'm just going to add a little bit more smoke because you guys know I love having my incense keeping going so now you guys can see that it's all in there and I'm actually going to add a little bit more oil now that I see how much the ingredients are in there I want to make sure that I can bless the oil I'm using and I'm just using some olive oil so I'm just gonna add a little bit more till it's about full and that's about good might have overflown it a little bit, but that's all right. Can never have too much love potion. So there we go. Look at that, guys. It's beautiful. So now we're going to do one final blessing to it after we tie our red ribbon of love and passion, energy, and all these things. Now we're just going to take our ribbon and go ahead and start tying it up. I do a knot first. I do three knots actually on this one because again, we wanna work with the body, mind, and spirit energy. And then after we finish our three knots, then if you like, you can tie a cute little bow on it, which I always do. I feel like it's more presentable and you're putting just that much more time into it. And we'll center it out. And I know some of you guys have been so awesome. You got some stuff in you on my website. And I know you've noticed I type bows on everything. Um, so now we have this cute little bow on here. And I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the ends just so they're not so long. So now we have a cute little bow on here and if you can see this is our love potion. So now what I wanted to speak with making this more personal is adding your hair to it. That's right, I said your hair. So basically that's what I was saying about the scissors. So if you want to make it really personal you can literally just clip a little piece of your hair like I did with mine and if you want to make it more personal to what you are trying to attract into your life now this potion is for you this is a potion that you cannot give away to your friends this is specifically for you and your energy and if you wanted you would just take your hair and pop it in the bottle and shake it up and now this is a love potion that works strictly for you and manifesting what you need in your life as you open it you can take your little piece of hair that you cut you don't need to cut a huge piece off you just take a little piece and then you just add it to there. And now once you do this, like I said, this is your bottle now. This is not supposed to be gifted to anyone. This is your love potion. And now it's your tied to it. It's to attract love to your life and your life only. Put another little gentle shake. And if you can see, it got some hair in there. It seems like voodoo, scary things, but it's not. It's just, it's tying your energy into this energy trying to make it to where your energy is going to attract this love. So this is what I have here for you guys. So if you can see, it's a beautiful potion. And we're going to add one more round of incense here so that we can bless the whole bottle as now it's all done. It's all beautiful. And we're just thinking of love and all the love we're going to attract into our life. No hate. Hate is so ugly. We want beauty and love. 
and passion. It can be passion for creative joy, passion in your job, passion in your home, just in the things that you do. So yeah, here we go. Beautiful, isn't it? I hope you guys liked that video on how to make a love potion. It's not as difficult as you thought, but it does take a lot of time and energy. So make sure you are working in a really good sacred space that's clear of any negative energy. You can use this oil as an all purpose oil in many different love meditations, love rituals or spells. You can anoint candles with it, objects, or yourself you can use it as a perfume. This oil can keep in the fridge for up to like six to eight months, sometimes a year, but you want to check on it because you are using things like grapeseed oil or um, olive oil. You want to just, you know, keep an eye on it, put it in the fridge, keep it out of the sunlight, and make sure you don't consume it, especially if you use any kind of fragrance oils or anything like that. So you want to gift it as a friend. You can do that too. It makes for a really, really lovely gift, especially if you have a friend who's been searching for their love and they're ready to open their heart and mind to their twin flame, their soulmate, or just a really beautiful significant or other that can really benefit their life and their spiritual growth. So I hope you guys did like this video and I'm so glad that you watched it. Thanks for coming back. If you did like it, you can give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook at The White Witch Parlor or Instagram at White Witch Parlor. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have a really beautiful, blessed week and may love always find you wherever you go. Mwah. Bye.